thank you, Representative Dimas. And now I want to also acknowledge uh, another state representative with us from uh, New Haven, Representative Porter. Uh, now um, uh, I'm going to turn it out uh, now to uh, Representative Juan Candelaria. Thank you, Representative Gonzalez. You know, I stand here with my colleagues because I think we need to come together. As you have heard already, the system definitely is broken and we need to fix it. Uh, they might say, you know, this is a tough uphill battle, but you know what? We have to confront that battle because when, there's, when the system's not working for the people, then we have to repair it. When we look at the process for filing a complaint against a judge, uh, people have lost faith in that process. We had the Judicial Review Council, and we need to start looking at that composition, see who's sitting on that council, because people have lost complete faith in it. How do we break, take that system and reconfigure it in a way that people can come back, leave the fear to the side, and know that they will get a fair process? That's what we need to do, and that's why we're here today, because we will fight together, united, to ensure that this system really represents its people. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Representative Candelaria. We have um, two more state rep here, uh, and I'm, I know that they would like to say a few words. Representative Vargas. Thank you, Representative Gonzalez. Uh, just briefly, I'd like to say people have questioned whether or not we as a legislative body have the right to question people coming before us to serve on the bench. There's a reason why there's a vetting process. There's a reason why every eight years the statutes say the judges come before the legislative process. If it weren't for those statutes, we would have no role. Those statutes are there not for us to be a rubber stamp. Those statutes are there for us to evaluate the performance of people who have been given a grave responsibility of wearing the robes of justice in the state of Connecticut. The Founding Fathers wanted balance of power. They wanted an executive separate from a legislative branch, and they wanted a judiciary separate from the executive and the legislative. And each of those branches was supposed to be a check and balance on the other. So no one has a right to question this legislature when this legislature exercises its legal duty to review these judges that come before it. So thank you very much for your support at this press conference. Uh, thank you, Representative Vargas. And now with us, uh, State Representative um, Robin Potter. Good morning, everyone. And thank you all for being here. And uh, thank you to Representative Gonzalez for pulling this together. Um, I can't tell you how important this is. This is crucial. It is critical. I won't belabor all of what's been said. I think it's been pretty much succinctly said. But what I will do is differ in opinion when my colleagues have stated that the system is broken. I personally don't believe that the system is broken. When we say it needs to be fixed, I believe it is fixed. Um, and it is doing what it was designed to do. I think that we need to dismantle and reassemble, and I have issues when we talk about reform. So I stand here today encouraging all of those behind me to actually put our hands to the plow and get it done. It's a heavy lift because we're dealing with a system that is pretty much been able to police itself, um, has given people the idea that it is above the law. Um, I have people come into my office, much like uh, the good representative Massa mentioned, in tears. I've been in tears when they have left. I have been in tears while they have been sitting with me because I can't believe some of the things that people have been subjected to. And I won't say that it's just people of color. I have pe white people come in my office and have these discussions with me as well. So for me, this is, it, it runs across the board. It's everyone. It impacts everyone. Yes, it disproportionately impacts people of color, but everyone is impacted when there are injustices in a system that was designed to do what it's doing. Under the fallacy 
of justice, of an equal scale of justice at that. And we know that the scales of justice are not equal. So I want people to think about that. And I encourage those that have been coming to us to discuss these matters to continue to have the intestinal fortitude and the courage to do so. Because we can't fix anything, we can't change anything if we don't know the facts. And I'm one that believes experience is my evidence. So if you have experienced the injustice, please, I'm not asking for data. I feel like I am the data. And that that should hold a hell of a lot more weight than numbers on a page. So thank you once again to Representative Gonzalez for doing this. I thank my colleagues, the activists, the advocates, and everyone in this room that took the time to be here to hear about this important issue. And I encourage you to keep the faith because we are fighting, we are listening, and we are determined to turn this thing around. Thank you.